Why am I filming with my glasses on? I know I'm blind, but I don't need my glasses on right now. Hello beautiful dreamers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my saltwater aquarium and give you information on each little fish that's in my tank. First things first, I got this cute little gift. Look at that. I think it's from PetSmart. Isn't that just the cutest? Now, if anyone knows me, they know my favorite shape in the world is a paw print. Just love paw prints. I want to show you my cute shirt. Trying to show my shirt. Storkable pillow. Love ocean, I love mermaids, I love, 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 love. <laughs> so let's get into the video. First off, I'm going to share with you my chocolate chip starfish, and her name is Karis. As you can see, she looks like a little chocolate chip cookie, which is what they get the name for. And the chocolate chips are actually a defense to protect them against predators. She's just hanging on my hand. Now in the wild, they get up to a foot, but in captivity, between 8 to 10 inches. Am I still just a little star? Just chilling on my hand. Now an interesting fact is that starfish do not have blood. They don't have brains, no organs. All they have is just a stomach, which also serves as a mouth. And that's that thing right in the middle. As you can see, she has a piece of food stuck to her that she is not letting go of. And as for vision, on each little arm, they have this little eye, and that detects dark colors and shadows. They do feel kind of funny when they're on your hand, all those little tube feet with little suction cups. It feels like, it kind of feels like Velcro. That's the best way I can describe it. So next I have three little neck clams, and they actually, they don't really do much at all. They just sit there and exist. If you touch one like this, sometimes they will blow sand. Let's see if we can get it. Little sand blower. Now these are most active at night sometimes. And you can see them flipping themselves. And it's quite funny how they flip. Or you can see them drag themselves across the sand and they leave a little trail behind. And once in a while, you'll actually see the foot moving around. This type of clam is generally found in the seafood department and you won't really see them in someone's saltwater aquarium, which is kind of sad. I'm going to cry. <laughs> you crying with me? Clam lives matter, people. As for feeding clams, you really don't need to feed them. They get all their nutrients from the water and the light, which is found in any mature aquarium setup. There isn't much more to say about these clams, just that they're happy as clams. Get it? Happy? has clamps? <laughs> Never mind. So the next fish I'm going to show you is my Saddle Valentini Puffer, also known as a sharp nose puffer or a toby. And I like to think it has a cute little duck face. Look at that face. So cute. And the max size is four inches. This is one of my favorite puffers. They're just adorable. This next fish is a sleeper banded goby, or also known as a brown barred goby, or the bullet goby. And this is a sand sifter, where you'll see him taking big gulps of sand, eating the little micro stuff in the sand, and then spitting it back out. These gobies grow a maximum of 6 inches, and they are considered peaceful fish. The next fish is Gummy, my bicolor pseudo or bicolor dotty back. As you can tell, I got the name from a gummy worm candy because they look just like gummy worms. And the max size they grow is 3 inches, though this is a semi-aggressive fish, so be careful when housing them with peaceful fish. These are very territorial, and for their little size, they have major attitude. I'm 4'11", and possibly full of sass, so maybe he gets it from mommy fish. I'll just be quiet now and move on to the next fish. Hello, my name is Bisque. Can I please have my own identity? Now being a clownfish, he definitely gets the most attention in my tank as people recognize him or think they recognize him from a certain movie that I won't name. But yeah, he definitely gets a lot of attention from visitors. So Bisque is a tomato clownfish and he gets a maximum of 5 inches and he is an aggressive species. So they shouldn't be housed with other types of clownfish. 
as they will fight. It's best to keep a single one or a bonded pair, no more than two. And finally, we have my favorite fish in my tank, and that's Jigglypuff, as she will grow up to be six inches. Now, green spotted puffers are very slow growers, and it takes a few years for them to reach their full size. An interesting fact is that green spotted puffers start off brackish, and it slowly increase them to marine conditions. This little fish is full of personality. She loves to play tag. And these are also semi-aggressive. Look at those eyes. Aren't they adorable? Just love that little face. Now puffers do have ever-growing teeth. And if you don't feed them hard food like snails and crustaceans, their teeth will grow. And you eventually might end up having to do dental work on your puffer. A lot of people ask me when they see that I have puffers is, do they puff up? And yes, indeed, they do puff up. Now, keep in mind, this isn't something you really want to see or make happen as a puffer is very stressed during this time and they could possibly die if they are to get puffed up and can't get the water out of them. Now, you never want to make them puff up with air or you will have to burp them. And that sounds weird, but it's a thing. So I do recommend learning how to burp a puffer and to do emergency dental in case it ever comes to that. This is the tank that I'm upgrading my fish to. This is a 55 gallon. And then, oh, I can't really see. So this is my 55 gallon tank, which all my fish are going to go into. And, oh, that decoration is not going to be in there. Or that, my birds made a mess. Can't really see, it's so dark in here. And then this is the stand. So hard to see. I'll, I'll take pictures though. And we paint it black. And we're gonna put some little handles on the doors. There's three doors. We'll put handles. And I think I'm gonna go with seahorse handles. It's hard to decide. All those starfish handles that I really like, but I'm probably gonna go with the seahorse. Now I also have this 10 gallon aquarium. Get drink out of the way. It's really pretty, but I don't, have, I don't know what to put in it. I don't know if I want to do fresh water, brackish water. I was thinking maybe a, a 10 gallon salt water tank, but um, that's, I don't know, I'm not sure. And I really want to get another axolotl. I love those little guys. And one axolotl could fit in this tank. These have two axolotls and a 20 gallon. We got the filter in there and everything. It's so pretty and so empty. Although, if I do get an axolotl, these pebbles have to come out. I'm not really a big fan of pebbles. I actually prefer sand or... Well, for my axolotls, I used to have the slate tiles. That was so easy to clean. So if I do get an axolotl, I'm going back to the custom tiles or the sand. I want to put something so bad in there. Oh well, one of these days, one of these days. Alright, that is all. Bye bye, empty tank. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I learned that not all fish can actually be in a coffee pot. I just love this. Just cute. I hope you enjoyed my video and were able to get some information out of it on a particular type of fish you might be interested in. And just a word of advice. To always do your research. Alright, it's beautiful dreamers, so I will see you next video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mwah. Look at my kitty. Look at my kitty. She thinks I'm gonna hold her and cut her nails. Mwah, I love you. I love you. Mwah, I love you. Mwah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, boy. <laughs> Why is my acne gotta show up in all the weirdest spots? Ruining my life. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look.